guys welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year to each and every one of my viewers and I hope that this new year brings you all best of health and good luck and a lot of prosperity throughout this new year today's video is going to be my 2014 favorite products that I've been using there is a bit of skincare and random stuff and also of course makeup so I'm just gonna randomly pull stuff nothing is in any particular order and I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see what I've been loving throughout the year 2014 then please keep on watching the first thing that I've been loving a lot and like seriously cannot put my hands down on it is my Mac fix plus this is like almost like a die-hard product for me right now I use this before makeup and I use this after my makeup so yeah and I also use this for pigments and to intensify shadows and stuff like that and I've really been loving this product as you can see it's almost Finish, so I have to be repurchasing this very soon so yes and the next thing is also a mist for the face and this is the let me zoom you in this is also a facial mist or facial spray and this is the Evian natural mineral water and this looks like this and it's actually a toner and it says it's a toner it refreshes and it moisturizes and I highly highly recommend this I love this to that I love this a lot and I do notice a huge difference in the moisture part of my skin when I use this I use this after I wash my face in the morning I use this in the night I use this throughout the day for touch-ups if I feel like I need just a little bit of you know like right now I would like spray the face and it's so refreshing I really really love this so uh, yes I've been loving this I'm someone that loves to moisturize my face and I believe that you can wear any expensive makeup any brand of makeup but if your skin is that perfect if it's that moisturized if it's that well taken care of it doesn't matter what makeup you use it is good to suck so I believe that everything starts with skincare so for years and years I've been using this one brand of moisturizer and I haven't put it down since I I've been sticking to this one brand so this is the Olay brand and here I have I used both the day and night moisturizer and also I have the eye cream to go with it the Olay total effect seven in one moisturizer so this is the night cream and this is the day cream the day cream has an SPF of 15 in it so that's why I love this a lot and I do see a lot of difference in my skin when I just started using this and of course the eye cream which I love and I cannot do without an eye cream I use this in the mornings and I use this in the night so yes I highly recommend this brand and this is how the box looks like so I'll just show you how the box looks like yeah that's the box that it came in and I started using maybe about a month or two months ago and this is by Pons it is a gold radiance precious youth serum with real gold micro particles uh, they're saying there's real gold in here and as you can see I almost hit the bottom this is crazy expensive I was using it day and night and then when I saw it was going down I eased up and started using it only at night and again I did see a huge difference using this serum and another thing is masks I love masks especially the ones from Lush I'm obsessed I cannot do without them so I have two masks here that I've been using non-stop when they're finished I usually repurchase them and stuff like that the first one is a mask of Magna Minty and I really love this mask this is actually my second um, tub of it 
so as you can see it's pretty much down to the bottom and I love the, the feeling that it gives to the skin the fresh tingly minty feeling this is very minty obviously the name says it all so if you're not a mint lover maybe you might not like this but I really really love this mask I really really love this mask um, the next one is that is not a stranger to my channel I have talked about this a while back and this is the Audi fix mask this one is done <laughs> it's pretty much finished after it purchases this has bananas oats and as I say vanilla in this I really love this I do find it is very very moisturizer if you have dry skin this is the mask for you I did get this because I used to have like dryness in the corner of the nose I know some of you know what I'm talking about and I swear this mask clear it up clear that up for me so I love this mask a lot and then another thing from Lush it's not a mask but this is crazy I've been obsessed with this I'm actually obsessed with hand moisturizer creams I really really love to keep my hands moisturized because I'm my hands are under water so much from washing and stuff like that and cooking it gets tends to get very dry so this mask so this hand cream from Lush, this one is called Helping Hands. It's nourishing almond, cocoa butter, and chamomile hand cream to give back some of what life and washing has taken out. This is actually a repurchase. I just bought this two days ago because the other one, literally I went through that in two weeks. And I really love this hand cream. I really think it does what it says. And I highly recommend it there is different kind of hand creams from Lush but this one is by far my favorite the next thing I'm going to talk about is my primer I tried other primers like Too Faced primer and some other primer I tried I can't remember but this one by far stands out for me this is a Laura Mercier primer and this one is in radiance I did have the other original primer from Laura Mercier which obviously is the uh, original one. I really love that more than this one. But this one, if you need a more dewy, radiant looking skin, this one is more recommended. But the original one is awesome. I love it. I need to repurchase the original. For our foundation, this is going to be no surprise to you guys because I'm finding it very hard to stray away from the MAC foundations. And this one is the Studio Fix Fluid, and I'm in the shade NW35 love 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 this foundation this is what i'm wearing on my face right now and this is by far the best foundation i would say and i've tried other foundations by mac and i think this is probably on my number one list and then the second would be the face and body i really love this one i don't want a cake face when i don't want too much of a heavy feeling foundation I would go for the face and body and for concealers I've been using the Pro Long Wear concealer I know this is a very loved concealer here on YouTube and um, this is actually an empty one and this is my repurchase and I need some help because I don't know how to get this off to get the little bit that's at the bottom here so if you guys have any tips or whatever to get this cap removed then please let me know in the comments below so yeah, oh, and I'm in the shade NW35. For a bronzer, the bronzer that I've been using a lot in my tutorials, and I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, is this Sephora bronzer. This one is in 03 Fonsi Deep, and this is what the bronzer looks like. As you can see, I did put a little dent in the middle there. I've been loving this bronzer a lot. And, and this is what I'm wearing on my face today so it's very not too harsh not too intense I guess you can build it up if you like but this is the brand I've been using a lot for my eyeshadow base primer whatever you want to call it I've been loving the NYX shadow base and this one here is in skin tone and this is what it looks like I know it looks like I haven't touched it but I've been using this a lot this is what I used on the eyes today um, for eyeliner I know you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about my 
gel eyeliner to do wing and stuff like that I've been using the Inglot number 77 gel liner and as you oh, and as you can see I did do some damage in there I really love this gel liner and I think it's one of the best on the market right now it's very black very creamy but it does dry and right now I think I'm going through that dry stage but I do have a solution for that which is this gel here from Anastasia Beverly Hills it is the Beauty Genius clear waterproofing gel gel transparent waterproof it's it's a gel so basically it waterproofs eyeshadows it waterproofs um, liners and stuff like that whatever you want to waterproof this is what this does but this is what the wand looks like it's like a little paddle it's like a little paddle kind of thing as you can see but this is awesome I've been using this maybe a week now so I didn't include it into my favorites but I did get this to use with my liner and I did use it today and it did work very well it will bring your gel liner back to life if you guys watch my videos and you're subscribed to my channel you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about this is the NYX retractable lip liner in the shade nutmeg oh my god this is so freaking creamy I really love this this is actually a second this is my second nutmeg I got this um, like two or three days ago and this was a repurchase because I was completely out of the first one and I really love this you guys if you if you haven't tried the NYX's lip liner the retractable ones I highly suggest I do have them in a lot more shades but this one is by far my favorite I noticed that I grabbed this one more to like to as a combo to go with any lip like this is what I'm wearing right now today on the lips um lipsticks that I've been using a lot throughout this whole 2014 has probably been this this other product from NYX and this is one of their butter lipsticks and this one is in licorice this one is the perfect fall shade and I really really love it very vampy cranberry color and I really love this lipstick a lot and also these lip liquid lipsticks from Too Faced these are this is actually a set that I got with four inside and um, yeah I've been gravitating towards these two especially since I've got them and they're probably almost finished this one is in melted nude and this one is in melted berry I really love these they do stain the lips well not stain the lips they do last a very long time on the lips and that's what I love about them and also these other lip products they are from bite beauty oh my gosh these were actually recommendations from Jaclyn Hill of course like what do I not have here that is a recommendation is a recommendation from Jaclyn Hill like she's cost me a lot of money but I really really love these lip line these lip pencils from my beauty this was actually a set as well I haul this set that came in this can right here and it was four pieces and these two are in winterberry and rhubarb these are the two shades that I've been using a lot I know you guys have noticed I've been using these a lot in tutorials and yeah I've been loving these a lot is the lashes that I've been gravitating towards a lot too as you can see in my tutorials you'll see that it's the same lashes and it's only because I love these lashes so much these are the Demi Wispies from Ardell and these they look like this they're very natural looking but give you that extra um to the eye that you want or that you're looking for but mostly I've been grabbing the Ardell brand lashes I haven't been using any other lashes but the Ardell's um, oh I forgot a <laughs> moisturizer the cream that I've been using a lot from since I would say from the middle of 2014 was this what do you call these was this body cream from Dove and this is what it looks like it comes in a little jar like this it actually comes in a larger jar but these I usually grab the smaller ones this way I grab a whole bunch of different in a lot of cents so I get the smaller ones and get like two three cents and I would use that throughout the week so this one is in purely pampering and I really love this as you can see it's pretty much down to the bottom and I do have a 
I do have a deep nourishing one which is a blue um, this one has a brown writing so that one is blue yeah so this is what I've been using a lot and you know how they always say you can have the best or most expensive eyeshadows but the best tools to have is your brushes the brushes make a lot of difference and if you have to invest in good brushes it makes your makeup look way more better than anything else so I did that and I did invest in some Sigma brushes so these are just a few of the Sigma brushes that I have been loving a lot and I've been using a lot I really really love these brushes I got quite a I got quite a few of these brushes and these are the ones that I've been grabbing the most to do my tutorials and stuff like that and I really do think that they make a difference I mean they are a little expensive but I would say if you I would say to invest if you, if you want to invest in anything makeup wise brushes are the way to go I really believe that so these are the brushes from Sigma that I've been using a lot so this one here is the dual fiber powder blush this is in the F15 and this one looks like this I've been using this one mostly for highlighting so all my highlighting powders I use this brush for that and the next brush is the F55 small dual fiber which looks like this I apologize that the brushes are dirty because I just use them so this one I use mostly for blush I like how it's so nice and small and it just fits right there on the cheeks and I really love this for that the next brush is also oh my god good. <laughs> a recommendation from Jaclyn Hill and this is the small tapered f35 brush and I love it a lot I've been grabbing this like I cannot put this down so this I've been using to set my under eye concealer as you can see it's so small and tapered that it just gets right in there as you can see and then I set my concealer I love this brush next brushes are eye brushes and I'm obsessed I am really obsessed this one of course is the popular one that everyone is using this is the E40 tapered blending I actually got two of these just in case one got dirty and I really love it I really think it does a great job in blending your shadows and yeah this is very recommended I love this a lot and the next one is one also that's been using a lot here on YouTube this is a blending E25 brush and this one looks like this except it does look this dirty this I just used and the next one is one that I think has changed my lower lashes application of shadows um, this one is the flat definer E15 brush and this looks like so it's really great for getting under that lower lash line to put that shadow it's really really good I really love it I'm sorry that I have to show this but it's it is what I've been loving from since I want to say November the beginning of November to now I cannot put this down and I need to put it down because it's limited edition and I cannot get this anywhere else or else I pay an arm and I like to get it so this is the Bobbi Brown uh, what is this this is the Bobbi Brown highlight powder in bronze glow and this is what it looks like this is the most gorgeous highlighter I've ever used and this is what it looks like as you can see the middle is a bit beaten up because I cannot put this goddamn highlighter down I just can't it is so pretty and that is what I'm wearing as my highlighter today as you can see this is gorgeous I love it obviously I'm going to mention this even though I just recently got this palette and this is the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette a lot of people have been have their ifs and stuff about it but as you can see I did dig into this palette quite a lot because I love this palette so much it's crazy anytime I've noticed I'm gravitating towards this palette a lot like when I just want to do a quick eyeshadow look I would grab this palette and of course you know the other chocolate bar palette which is the original one obsessed I've been obsessed with this palette for the whole 2014 from the time that I got it, I just cannot put this palette down. 
It's like it's so freaking gorgeous. It's like if I'm traveling, this would probably be the only palette that I would grab to go travel with. Some other shadows that I've been loving a lot throughout the year 2014 is my makeup geek shadows. So these are what it looks like. These are the all these are the only makeup geek shadows that I own. And the ones that I've been using a lot from here is Creme Brulee, which looks like this. And also the cupcake one. As you can see, it had a little dip in it because I've been using it a lot. But overall, all the makeup kit shadows I love. And I will be purchasing more of this in time. And also another palette that I've been loving. This is actually not a eyeshadow palette. This is a blush palette. And I recently got this probably past two months ago. And um, this is Tarte Pin Up Girl Blush Palette. And this is what it looks like. And these are what the shadows, the blushes looks like. I've really been loving this palette a lot. I use each and every one of these blushes in here. Right now I'm wearing the shade, which one is this? Right now I'm wearing the shade Bashful, which is this orange shade right here. I've, I wear this, I'm wearing that shade right now on the cheeks and i really love it you can get intense if you want you can be very light handed if you want but like i said i've been using this dual fiber brush to apply this shadow this blush right here on the outer part of my cheeks and i love it and this brush with this is bomb i've been loving the anastasia brow wiz and i've been using this is probably my third one that i went through for the year 2014 and this is finished it's done there's no more it's such a sad thing but i <laughs> this was finished probably about a week ago if you want a more natural looking brows i would try the anastasia brow wiz what i've been using to put my false lashes on is the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive and this one is in clear. So this one comes with a small brush applicator which I love. Makes it very easy to apply on the lashes and this is what it looks like. I actually recently saw that the, what is it, Duo, the Duo Lash Glue had came out with a similar packaging like Revlon. And let me just, find, and this is what it looks like. So this is the Revlon and this is the Duo, but this one is, their Sing has vitamins in it. This sucks. I used this once and I'm like, what the hell? I thought they were like really good, the best lash glue ever in the world that ever existed and whatever. I thought that this was the best lash glue. So I bought it with all the recommendations from everyone who used the Duo lash glue. And this one, like I said, has the same brush like the Revlon. Now, all there's night, I was going out and I was using this and I swear I left this on for one minute to dry and I was putting it on and it was not sticking. One minute, I mean it usually takes 30 seconds but one, I usually give it a minute and I'm putting it and it just kept falling off, it wouldn't stick. I was like, what the hell, I'm not going to even try to use that back again, like I'm over it. I'm sticking with the Revlon. It's pretty good. I give it like a minute to dry and then I apply it. It sticks. It doesn't go anywhere. So yes, I love this lash glue a lot. Oh, for randoms. Where is it? One random thing that I have. I think that's the only random thing. Is it? Yes. I guess everything was makeup. So the only random thing that I have for the... I think it's for the past two months that I've been using from 2014, the ending, November, December. I got this room, what is this? This room, the concentrated room spray from Bath and Body Works. And this one is in mahogany teak wood. I really, really love this. So I just like give it two sprays or whatever in my room or in the living room area. And this just smells the whole place up. And it keeps it smelling for a good amount of time and I really love this. I did get it in the smaller one, the small one just to try it because I never used it before. So I got two mahogany teak wood and I got one leaves from the candle leaves. Oh my god, I love. I am in love. I love this a lot. So that's the random stuff. 
and I think that's it for my favorites and I just want to thank all my subscribers that have been there from the beginning of 2014 to the end and I hope you guys are gonna stick around for a long time to my new subscribers I hope you enjoy my videos and that you guys will stick around till the end as well don't know when the end will be but I hope you guys will stick around um, yeah that's it so that's all the products really that I've been grabbing there's a lot more but these are the ones that I literally cannot put down that I keep reaching for all the time so I just thought I'll include it in my favorites for the year 2014 so please remember to leave a comment below and let me know what you've been loving for the year 2014 if you guys love this video or like this video just give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and if you're new to my channel welcome and I hope you guys are enjoying my video my videos and that you guys are having an awesome day um, if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so by hitting that subscribe button at the bottom remember it is free so until my next one I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>